let me just turn on my camera here so that you can all see me. Um, hello, hello. And alrighty, so it looks like a lot of you are joining in here. Um, I'm probably just going to give it another one more minute for people to come in. Um, and hi, Carissa. I'm so happy to see you all. And Gabby and I will do our best to make sure that we talk to each one of you today. Um, and let's see. <laughs> and we have someone, uh, Maddie, saying hello as well. Um, and William, I know that a lot of you love playing with um, Lego. So let me tell you what William has been working on. Um, He's been using Lego to build a guitar, and he's been using something called Lego Boost, um, and that's something that you can also code with, if I'm not, if I'm uh, correct. So I'm wondering if any of you have been doing anything with Lego as well. And Lucas, oh no, you can't play on the monkey bars anymore. That's not good. The monkey bars were my one of my favorite things growing up. That and swings, but hopefully you'll be able to use the monkey bars when your hand is all better. Okay, so it looks like we have most of you here, and hi, Emma. So let's see. Um, let's get started then, shall we? I think we have most people here. Um, and we have Maddie saying that uh, monkey bars are so hard. Um, and I have to admit I agree that they can be really hard to do. Um, and Lucas said they made a car, a car game. Oh my goodness, you'll have to tell us what that car game is so that we can play it as well. Hopefully it's a good one, so we'll be the test. Um, all right, so it looks like most of you are ready. And before we start, I hope you all have fun today. And if you this is your first session with us, welcome. I recognize a lot of names though, so I'm happy to see you all again. And I'm sure many of you are familiar that we use polls to ask questions. Um, this might not show up if you are using a just the internet, but that's okay. You can just tell us in the chat how you're feeling because I'll make sure to read you the question and the answers. So the poll question that's gonna go up is, are you excited for school? And is it yes, no, or sort of? I'm very curious because school is fast approaching. And if you're nervous, then hopefully if you have any questions, we can help answer them. Um, but in the meantime, we're happy to see if any of you are excited to get back to school. So it seems like a lot of you are saying yes, and some of you are saying sort of. Um, and I'm wondering if you're saying sort of, um, if you want to tell us in the chat um, what's up. And then a lot of you are saying yes, and just like you, I am very excited to go back to school, university for me. So not as much fun, but <laughs> that is okay. I quite like your school. It's much better. Um, oh, perfect. So uh, Ava just told us that she is going to be at the next summer camp session with me and Gabby later this afternoon, and we are very excited to see you there. Um, and we hope that a lot of you join us as well. If you would like to, and if you didn't manage to register, that you'll have to ask your adult or guardian at home. Um, if you wanna send us an email, we'd be happy to send you the link to come and join us. Um, but hopefully we see you all there too. Okay, so I'm gonna end that poll now so that we can get going. So welcome to our Storytime series number four, our last story time and our second last session for the summer. So you won't be seeing mine and Gabby's smiling faces until next summer unless um, you see either me teaching at a school or Gabby roaming around at SAFE. <laughs> so we are going to be reading Rhyming Dust Bunnies and I'm sure many of you may have read this before or many of you are probably rhyming experts and don't you worry, I will make sure to try and challenge you as much as you can for rhymes. Um, but I'm just wondering, if you want to put in the chat, have you read Rhyming Dust Bunnies before? Or have you heard of it? Um, I'll give you maybe, let's say, um, 15 seconds. I know a lot of you are speedy typers. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so it looks like a lot of you haven't read this book before, which is perfect, which means it's all gonna be a surprise for you. So hopefully you enjoy it. I quite like it myself. Um, and so with that in mind, let's get on to the story. So let me just stop sharing my screen for now 
And oh, Vesper said they're really excited for a new classroom, which sounds like it's going to be lots and lots of fun. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put up a poll question once again, um, because you are all amazing at answering these. And just to start us off, because we're doing a lot of rhyming today, what rhymes with bunny? And you can choose more than one word there while I set up my cameras to make sure you can all see today. All right. All right, so it looks like a lot of you are saying sunny and money. Um, if you know those words rhyme, can you tell me why? Maybe you are an expert and you know why they rhyme. Or you can tell me. Mm, that's right, William said that the word sunny also ends in the same word as bunny, so that U-N-N-Y is similar to both. Um, let me see here. Okay. Um, so it looks like you're ready to go. Unfortunately, running is not a word that rhymes, but that's because running doesn't have the same ending sound as bunny. So a lot of rhyming words for those of you that are just starting to learn about them. Almira is right. Um, words that sound the same at the end are words that rhyme. They don't, um, I'm wondering if you can tell me in the chat, do words that rhyme, do they have to have the same ending, like the same spelling at the end, or can they have different spelling as long as they sound the same? That's right. So it looks like a lot of you are putting in your answers. Let me give you just another five seconds to answer if you would like to. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so a lot of you are right. So when we are saying a word and seeing if it rhymes, the spelling does not have to be the same. That's right. So as long as they sound the same, they are words that rhyme. And if you were here for homophones the other day, homophones were when the words have um, the same, they sound the same, but they have different meanings and are spelled differently. So perfect. So I just want to make sure that you can all see this book right in front of me, hopefully. And I will get started. And hopefully we're all ready to go. If not, just let me know in the chat or you can raise your hand if you would like to. So, Rhyming Dust Bunnies by Jan Thomas. Oh my. Okay. Hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme. Although, I have a question for all of you. And you might know the answer already because you're all experts, it seems. What name doesn't rhyme? What name doesn't seem to fit here? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you all another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, a lot of you said Bob, which is right, because Bob doesn't have the same sound as Ed, Ned, and Ted. So I'm wondering if in the chat, can you tell me a name that you might change Bob's name to to rhyme with Ed, Ned, and Ted? Is there a name that we could say instead or we could have named Bob that might have rhymed better with their siblings? Led, bed, oh my. I don't know if I would want to be named Led or Bed, <laughs> but you are right, Ava and William and Marissa. Those names do rhyme. Um, Miles, yep, Bed is right. Okay, so, hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. Okay, so it looks like the red one is named Ted, and he's asking us, hey, what rhymes with car? And so just like before, here's another poll question, and you can choose more than one answer. William is right. Star rhymes with car. 
And if you want to put more name, more uh, words in the chat that rhyme with this word after you've answered the poll question, I would love to see what you can think of in your brilliant minds. So you, a lot of you are right. We'll give you another five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So it looks like a lot of you are right. Bar and tar do rhyme with car. And we have other suggestions for words like star, bar. Um, perfect. So, ooh, we have lar. I don't know if lar is a word, but we'll have to see. All right, so it looks like Ed is saying far. Ned is saying jar. And um, Ted is saying tar. And, oh dear, oh, Bob. Bob says look. So, I don't know if look rhymes with car, but far, jar, and tar certainly do. Okay, I know. Poor Bob, Gabby says. All right. No, Bob. Look does not rhyme with car. Oh, dear. Poor Bob. All right. Looks like Ed is asking us, what rhymes with bug? And so I have one more question for all of you. What? This time, this one is a little different. You can choose more than one answer. But what sentence has a word that rhymes with bug? So we have, today I saw a butterfly. I gave my pet pup, puppy a hug. Uh, my dad drinks his coffee from a mug every day. And did you forget your hat and gloves? All right, so looks like William and Marissa are typing as fast as they can to tell me as many words um, that rhyme with bug. And so far I have jug, mug, pug, Oh my goodness, I love pugs. Those are very cute dogs, if I do say so myself. Um, so I'll give you another five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So a lot of you are seeing I gave my pet puppy a hug. And that is right, because hug rhymes with bug. We had my dad drinks his coffee from a mug every day. So mug rhymes with bug. And Gabby. Do you think, did you forget your hat and gloves? Does that rhyme with bug? No. Mm. Why doesn't glove rhyme? Actually, glove, bug, they're pretty close. They're pretty close, yeah. But not quite. The ending sound is a little different between bug and gloves. So that ending is a little bit different, but really close. Okay. Let's see what they all say. We have rug. Hug. Mug. Oh, dear, Bob. Look out! I don't know if that makes sense. We'll have to see. Okay. No, Bob. Look out does not rhyme with bug. Oh, dear. Poor Bob. All right. We have uh, Ned now asking us, what rhymes with dog? So before I flip the page, in the chat box or in the Q&A, whichever one you can use, can you tell me some words that rhyme with dog? And I'm curious to see how many words you can all think of um, in 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Okay, looks like a lot of you are expert rhymers. I have bog, fog, frog, hog, log. Perfect. I love it. So many suggestions. Um, log, yeah, that's right. So let's see what our rhyming dust bunny friends have thought of. We have, we have hog, we have log, we have fog. Perfect. Oh dear, Bob. Look out! Here comes a big scary monster with a broom! Bob, no. Look out! Here comes a big scary monster with a broom! Does not rhyme with anything, really. Okay then, but... Run for it! Oh dear. Oh dear, it looks like they're all running away from the big scary broom. 
Good call, Bob. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to ask you all of this. Um, where do you think the dust bunnies should have um, run to hide? Should they have gone under the couch? Should they have, they have gone behind a desk? Should they have gone to the back of your closet? Where do you think the dust bunnies should have hidden? Or do you think they're safe where they are um, underneath this little drawer? The back of your closet, a lot of you are saying, under the couch. Under the couch is really hard to get to, don't you think? Um, behind the desk, all these different places. Oh my, it looks like you, a lot of you are split on where you think the dust bunnies should have hidden. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so it looks like there is a tie between under the couch and the back of your closet. So, oh my goodness, I can't imagine. And those would be very hard. Okay, so they think they are safe for now, but we'll have to see. So we have our lovely friend Ted here. Okay, so where were we? What rhymes with cat? So can all of you put in the chat, um, let's give you 10 seconds again. How many words can you write um, that rhyme with cat? So I know that Maggie is raising their hand. I would love to know, Maggie, what do you think in the Q&A or in the chat box, if you can. Um, and if not, then that is completely okay. I know that you can just say the words out loud at home, and I think you will do an amazing job. So five, four, three, two, one. And Emma, I know you have your hand raised as well. I know that I saw you in the uh, Q&A before, so I'd be happy to see your answers there. Okay, so let me read all these words you have said. Um, bat, mat, flat, um, chat, hat, um, Sat, rat, mat, uh, fat, hat, bat, perfect. I love all these suggestions. So let's see what our rhyming dust bunny friends have thought of. Okay. Sat, pat, rat, vacuum cleaner. Oh, Bob, my dear friend. And Almira, that's right. You also included bat, mat, and sat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How would I even say this word? Swoop. I think it might be. Um, looks like they got all sucked into the vacuum cleaner. Oh dear. Um, Bob, what rhymes with how do we get out? No oh dear. So, how do you all think the dust bunnies would escape? Do you think they should try climbing out? Will you help them out? Or do you think they're stuck? Or do you have a completely uh, another idea that you can think of um, that you can put in the chat? I'll give you a little longer this time just in case you want to put something in other. Um, and you'll put it in the chat and I'd be happy to see it. Um, and I will check back in in a couple seconds with all of you to see what you decide to do. Okay, so I'll give you another 10 seconds. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we had William and Marissa, they said that they would wait till they get dumped out um, into the garbage can. Lucas said that they would break off the vacuum cleaner so they could come out. A lot of you said climb out. Um, a lot of you said you would help them. Perfect. Um, a, lot of, a couple of you said that they would be stuck. Oh no, but then how would we do our rhymes? Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, Bob, how, what rhymes with how do we get out? Help? <laughs> so it looks like a lot of you would have helped them out which is very, very kind of you. And that is the end of our Rhyming Dust Bunnies book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you that stay at home, um, that optional home craft that you can do. Um, again, this is something that your parents will get later on. And in the meantime, you can see me do it. Um, if you happen to have construction paper, glue and scissors with you at home right now um, and you would like to try and do this with me, um, you are more than welcome to. I might be going a little fast though um, because a lot of you don't have your supplies with you right now because we usually send this to you afterward.
but if you think you can quickly gather your things and try and follow along, you are more than welcome to. But don't worry, we are recording this as per usual, um, and we will make sure that we record this part on how to make this craft, and then from there we will make sure that you can follow along and do it yourself. So. I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see my friend that we are making this craft for. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to share my screen once more. Um, so just give me two seconds while I get this all together. Pretty soon. Okay, perfect. So let's get a move on, shall we? Um, so what you will need for this craft at home, um, and do not worry if you don't have the stuff with you, you can do it later if you would like to, you do not have to. Um, you can either just do it with me while we're doing it. Um, so you'll need construction paper, white paper, scissors, a glue stick or tape, markers, and a pencil and eraser if you prefer to use those in case you make a mistake. Um, so afterwards, you are more than welcome to email your creations to us. Gabby will put that in the chat. Um, but in the meantime, I will show you all how to make my dear friend a rhyming dust bunny. So this is my new friend that I made today. And their name, hello, my name is Sunny. My name rhymes with honey, and I like to tell jokes to be funny. And this is my rhyming dust bunny. And today, uh, I'm going to show you how you can make your own rhyming dust bunny at home. So, before I start that, I would like to know and get all of your thoughts. And I'll do whichever one gets the most votes. What color should our, the what color should the body be of our lovely dust bunny friend that we will be making today? And I'll give you another five seconds to vote, let's say. Five four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so it looks like blue won this vote. So we'll be making the body of our dust bunny blue. And so I like to use markers instead of a pencil and eraser because when I cut it out, it'll look a little cooler. So I'm going to use this blue marker to outline on my blue paper. And what we're trying to do is, you all saw the dust bunnies, we saw our lovely friends, um, Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. They have this really round shape, just like a circle. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can make a fluffy shape, just like our friend. So, for me, I know that I'm going to fill my paper in the circle shape, and I'm going to do a bunch of spikes because dust bunnies are kind of spiky. So I'm gonna go all the way around, making little spikes just like this. And you can make as many spikes as you like, or as few spikes. You can also make it kind of fluffy, like a cloud, so you can do little round ones. And I'll show you that as well. And then after that, I'm gonna take my handy dandy scissors, and I'm going to cut this shape out. And so in the meantime, in the chat, I would love it if you could tell me what your favorite, what do you think, Addy? What should they tell us? I want to know what your favorite song is. Tell us your favorite song, and we would love to know in the chat. Or if you have any questions that you would like to ask me and Gabby before the end of the summer, we would love to answer them. Um, I know a lot of you before have asked us who our favorite Disney characters are, what our favorite colors are. Um, William said that their favorite song is Circles. And then ABC's is Carissa's favorite song. Panic at the Disco. Ooh, High Hopes is a really good song, Carter. I've never heard that one. How does it go? Oh dear, <laughs> I cannot sing. Um, Carter, maybe you can sing it at home for us and maybe one day. We'll hear you sing it, um, maybe next summer. Maggie I love says Lost Boy. Lost Boy, ooh, I is like that the that one song. by uh, Ruth? Is it, is her name Ruth? Um, oh, I was gonna sing it, but I can't sing either. 
Um, I think I know how to play that song on the piano. Um, Carter, Trolls Just Thing. Oh my gosh, is that from the new Trolls movie? Because I've, I've only seen the first one. Me too. And I loved it. Me and my friends weren't sure if it was going to be a good movie or not. But as soon as we started watching, we loved it. Ava says she doesn't know. Look That's at okay, Ava. He loves all the songs. All the songs he's heard so far. Perfect. Um, Fly Me to the Moon. Oh my goodness, that's a good song too. Um, I want to know what is your favorite Disney song because sometimes Janelle and I, when we're working together, we um, play some Disney songs while we're working. So if you gave us some recommendations, some ideas, we're going to play them while we work together. <laughs> And so I've just cut out my fluff ball of a friend. That is um, our little poof ball. We call him a dust money. And so for those of you at home, the easiest way to kind of cut out these spikes is you'll start at one of your spikes. You'll cut from here into that corner spot. And then instead of trying to turn it to try and cut it because that's a little bit hard, you'll cut all the way here, stuff. And then you'll cut from here again so that you can take out this little corner piece. All right. So we have this. We are ready to go. We are missing their nose, however. They need a nose so that they can smell and they can breathe. So what color should their nose be? Uh, pink, red, or green. Um, William says that they know how to play that song on the guitar. Um, Miles says another favorite song. Ooh, is that from Hercules Zero? Or is that a yes. different song? Zero to um, And then, do, how many of you know how to play an instrument? I'm kind of <gasps> curious. Um, oh, no, Miles said, nope, it's not from uh, Hercules. Darn it. Um, we'll have to listen to Zero then. So it looks like I have a tie There's between a tie. pink and red. So... I will break the tie. Jenny. Gabby's gonna break the tie. I this choose time. pink. This is kind of a ready pink. So look, wait, look at that. We're in the middle. It's like a ready pink. Um, so hopefully this is all right. So we are going to make the nose for our lovely dust bunny. And this time I am going to use the color red on my piece of paper. Just because when I cut it out, then I always follow the outside of the marker. So then it has this nice outline. So for their nose, I will be drawing an oval shape. And we don't want the nose to be too big, just want it to cover that middle part right there. So a little bit bigger than an egg, I would say. So let's do this. So nice oval shape, just like this. And what makes an oval different from a circle? Can you all tell me in the chat? I know a lot of you are experts. Um, while I cut this out, what is the difference between an oval and a circle? I'm kind of curious if many of you know this, because I know a lot of you are my rhyming experts. So I'm wondering if any of you are my shape experts, too. And don't worry, after this craft, um, I will hopefully be able to read you another book by Robert Munch. Yay. Um, <laughs> And Lucas is right, an oval is higher, or it's kind of longer and skinnier than a circle, because a circle is just perfect all the way around, and an oval is kind of a long circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy glue stick friend, and I'm going to glue this nose to the middle of our rhyming dust bunny, because we want them to be able to breathe and smell. And I'm just gonna stick that on, I wonder if any of you remember my stick and squish trick, because I like to stick and squish. All right, Ava said that they know how to play classical guitar and piano. Oh my goodness. Um, I love how you can play both instruments. I love playing the piano at home myself. Um, okay, so I'm wondering, we're going to do another question. And this time it's going to be for the ears, the bunny ears, and the feet. It's going to be the same color. So, let's launch this poll. We have yellow, blue, orange, and red. Okay. I'll give you all another five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. 
So it looks like we have a tie between blue and orange. And I'll tell you what, I'll be kind and I will, I'll use both. Oh, you'll, you'll I'll, I will use both blue and um, orange. And for those of you that wanted pink before, fear not. When we write in the speech bubble, I will make that pink just for you. Um, it was asking, am I at home or is Gabby at home? Um, we are working in my home right now. Um, so this is my house. I'm in the basement. Um, and Gabby is here with me. Um, sometimes you'll see that we're in different places, but today we are together. So I'm going to start with the feet and I'm going to make the feet orange. So what I'm going to do to make this easier so I don't have to cut out things twice is I'm going to fold my paper in half, just like this, smooth it out. I'm going to grab my trusty orange marker and I'm going to make an oval shape that is bigger than our nose because we want the feet to peek out. So I would say an oval shape about the size of a maybe like this big so maybe kind of like a bun or a piece of bread that you might get at home. So I'm going to make this another oval shape. And just like Lucas said, it's going to be nice and high and long instead of a circle. So it looks just like this. And I only have to draw it once because we folded our paper in half so that when I cut it out, I'll get two. And William said potato fish. And that's because sometimes we see some fish around that are very long, just like this, and they kind of look like a potato. So I'm wondering if you can think of another animal. Uh, that you might call something like a potato fish or um, <laughs> anything like that. Um, so Ava asked a little about COVID-19 um, for me and Gabby. So Gabby and I, when we work together, we make sure that um, we stay two, uh, two feet apart so that we aren't facing each other. And just like when you're going to go back to school, a lot of you are going to find that your desks are going to try and be two feet apart or you won't be facing one another. So that's what Gabby and I are doing to stay safe. So we're two feet apart, um, just like they recommend, and we're making sure that we're not facing each other so we don't have to talk um, to right face to face with one another. And then when Gabby comes to my house, she always makes sure to wear a mask outside. Um, so after that, I have my two feet that I will be putting on my dust bunny. And so they're going to look something like this. And so what I am going to do is I am going to flip my piece of paper over and I am going to glue the back of our dust bunny so that we can put feet on him so that he can run away from the scary <laughs> vacuum <Bucking>. clean cleaner. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to stick and squish. Same with this one. I'm going to flip it over and stick and squish. So I'm going to hold it for a couple seconds to make sure that they don't fall off. Um, and then I will flip it over. And look, our rhyming dust bunny has feet. And of course, I need to make the ears so that they can hear. Um, and I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm going to use my trusty blue marker. And this time I'm going to make a bunny ear shape, which is kind of like a raindrop without the pointy uh, end. I'm going to make a little bunny ear shape just like that. And again, I'm only going to cut it out once. Um, so I'm curious at home uh, if you have any questions for me and Gabby. Maybe if it's about school or anything like that, we'd be happy to help and answer it as best as we can if you're nervous. Um, or in the meantime, I'd love it if you could start brainstorming for me. Um, what your favorite, let's say, word. Word? What is your favorite word? I'm sure many of you joined us for our word collector. Um, what is your favorite word? So now that I have my two bunny ears cut out, I'm going to add that to the top of our bunny. So again, I'm just going to flip that over. I'm going to glue a little bit of my ear where I want them to stick onto my paper. I'm going to use my usual stick and squish. And I'm going to use my usual stick and squish. Okay, so when I flip this over, my little bunny, Dust Bunny has two ears, he has a nose, and feet. 
But what is my rhyming dust bunny missing, everybody? Can you put that in our in the chat? What do I need to add to our lovely friend? Um, eyes. Yes, Miles, that is right. So for me, I'm just going to use a marker. I'm going to draw two little ovals, one right here and one right here. If you have googly eyes at home, you are more than welcome to use those. Um, and what else is my rhyming dust bunny missing? Um, or do we think our rhyming dust bunny is done? Um, what do we think? Is this it? Mouth. Perfect. Thank you, Miles. I'm going to draw a nice U. I'm going to draw another smaller U on top, and I'm going to color that in to make my rhyme dust bunny smile. Such a cute Just dust like that. bunny. And so once we do that, we are going to need a white piece of paper um, so that we can make the um, speech bubble for our bunny because our dust bunny talks. <laughs> so I will use a white piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black marker. You do not have to if you don't want to. And I'm going to make a little speech bubble. So it has to have a little tail where the person is talking, and then it's round just like a bubble. And you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want, but you need to make sure that you can still write in it, okay? Um, so I am going to cut this out. Um, and we have a lot of you saying that you might be a little scared of COVID when you go back to school. And we know that can be a really scary thing, right, Gabby? Yes. But your teachers are doing their best and they have really good rules and things that they're doing to keep you safe. That's it. So when you go back to school, things are going to be a little bit different because we want to make sure that we try and keep you all safe as long as we can. Um, and so a lot of it will have to be, you need to remember um, your mask when you go out to school. You have to remember to wash your hands and you want to make sure that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds because um, that is good practice. But if you ever have any other questions, you can make sure that you ask your parents to let, or guardian to let them know. Or you can even email your teacher if you know who they're going to be. Um, oh, I wish there were flying desks. That would be so cool. So we have our speech bubble cut out. And I'm wondering if any of you want to tell me what you will be doing for that last little bit of summer before you go back to school. What are you looking forward to doing before you go back? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my speech bubble onto my rhyming dust bunny, just like they were talking to us. Um, and I'm going to just go like this to make it look like they are talking. Uh, Amira said that they'll be going camping. Oh my goodness, it sounds like so much fun. Amira, I think we said that you're a camping expert, if I remember right. Um, so I have another poll question for all of you. What should we name our dust bunny? Should we name them Bun? Should we name them Dory? Or should we name them Kevin? What do you all think? Well, it's like a lot of you said Dory, so we'll be going for Dory for this one. If you wanted Bun or Kevin, I'm so sorry, but maybe you can make your own dust bunny and name them that. So we're going to go with Dory. So I'm going to be writing in pink, just like I promised the ones that wanted pink, but we didn't get to it because we did a red nose. So we are going to write hello, and I'm going to do this in cool letters. Um, I'm going to do them in what we call uh, block letters. So just like this. H E L L O. So, hello. Um, my name is. And we chose Dory. Um, so, let's do my name is Dory. Okay. So, yeah, my name is Dory. Um, my name rhymes with. I'm wondering in the chat, can you tell me what might rhyme with Dory? And I'll give you maybe 15 seconds to think of that because it's a little bit of a hard one. My name rhymes with, um, let's see what we can think of. <laughs> we have Lori, we have Pooley, um, 
Corey. Ooh, it does rhyme with Corey. That's right. And that's another name. Story. Story. Perfect, Ava. And I'm going to use that, Ava, for our second sentence. Um, and then, let's see. So let's do... Um, there's another one I can think of that my name rhymes with sorry. So we have Dor Dory, sorry. Mm -hmm. do, do you think that works? Or maybe we'll use Corey, like Miles said. My name rhymes with Corey. Okay, I'm going to use Ava's word next. So um, I like to. Um, I like to read a good story. A good story. Perfect. Thank you, everyone, for thinking of words that can rhyme with our dear friend Dory here. Okay. So you can do this at home if you would like to. Completely optional. So you can do it if you feel like it. You don't have to if you don't. Um, and this is our friend. Hello, my name is Dory. Um, my name rhymes with Corey, and I like to read a good story. And William and Marissa, I don't think potatoes rhymes with Dory, you silly gooses. All right. So this would be the craft that you can do at home if you would like to. Um, you don't need too much stuff, just construction paper, scissors, glue, and markers. Um, and so from there, I think I will read another story for all of you. Um, hopefully you don't mind that. You are welcome to go if you would like to, um, because this is the end of our session and we hope you had lots of fun. And hopefully we see you at our next session. Um, and if not, we hope you have a great rest of the summer and a fun school year. I'm um, learning lots of new stuff. We know you're all brilliant. Um, if you would like to stay for a second story, you are more than welcome to. Um, but if you would like to say bye for now, then you are also welcome to do that. Um, in the meantime, while I get my story, I am going to spotlight our lovely dust bunny friend that we've made just while I get that story.